When I think of the Savior, I often picture him with hands outstretched, reaching out to comfort, heal, bless, and love. As we emulate his perfect example, our hands can become his hands, our eyes, his eyes, our heart, his heart. You are a shining light to the world, and you are known for your goodness and compassion all around the globe. I hope that we welcome and love all of God's children. Let us lift those around us. Let us extend a welcoming hand. Let us bestow upon our brothers and sisters in the church a special measure of humanity, compassion, and charity so that they feel at long last they have finally found home. We all are in need of mercy. In that last day when we are called to the judgment bar of God, do we not hope that our many imperfections will be forgiven? Do we not yearn to feel the Savior's embrace? The worth of souls is great in the sight of God. Let our hearts and hands be stretched out in compassion toward others. For everyone is walking his or her own difficult path. This is the spirit of compassion that we love others as ourselves. True love requires action. Christ did not just speak about love. He showed it each day of his life. He did not remove himself from the crowd. Being amidst the people, Jesus reached out to the one. He rescued the lost. He not only taught, but showed us how to succor the weak, lift up the hands which hang down, and strengthen the feeble knees. Love is what inspired our Heavenly Father to create our spirits. It is what led our Savior to the Garden of Gethsemane to make himself a ransom for our sins. As we extend our hands and hearts towards others in Christ-like love, something wonderful happens to us. Our own spirits become healed, more refined and stronger. We become happier, more peaceful, and more receptive to the whisperings of the Holy Spirit. He has given us the perfect example of the kind of man and woman we should be. Let us commit to become His hands, that others through us may feel His loving embrace. With all my heart and soul, I give thanks to our Heavenly Father and for His love for us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.